Hi, I'm Dr. Kat Fleece from Central New Mexico Community College. In this video, we're going to focus on male's fertility as well as the various reflexes involved during arousal and ejaculation. There are various factors that are going to impact the fertility level of a male. Clearly the amount of semen that is produced, but also how many sperm cells are present in that semen. What is the shape of the sperm? Do they have too many tails, for instance? And how well do they swim? So prior to ejaculation, a man, man becomes aroused, during which time his penis becomes erect. And that, of course, involves a reflex, the erection reflex. Now, if it's tough for you to remember, is it a parasympathetic reflex? Is it a sympathetic reflex? Try to remember that in order for us to become aroused, we, need to, we tend to have to be relaxed. And that implies it's a parasympathetic reflex. Remember, too, that parasympathetic fibers either originate from the brainstem or the sacral region of the spinal cord. Us dealing here with the penis, it wouldn't make any sense for these fibers to come all the way from the brainstem. So this is going to be a sacral parasympathetic reflex. And this particular reflex is going to trigger the release of nitric oxide. Remember, we've come across nitric oxide in the blood vessel chapter when we learned about blood pressure regulation. Nitric oxide is a potent vasodilator. So the, the arteries and capillaries, or especially the arteries, I should say, that are bringing blood into these corpora cavernosa are going to start dilating and that causes expansion of the erectile tissue, the corpora cavernosa, which literally then makes it very difficult for blood to leave because now all of these veins are getting compressed due to the engorged uh, erectile tissues here. And that's what helps maintain the erection. Uh, at the same time, the erectile tissue called the corpus spongiosum around the urethra keeps the urethra open. By the way, as a little side note, Viagra promotes the release of nitric oxide, and now you know why. So the erection reflex was a parasympathetic reflex. We have to be relaxed in order to become aroused, both males and females. The ejaculation reflex is a sympathetic reflex, and more specifically, a sympathetic lumbar reflex. What needs to happen when ejaculation occurs is that the sperm cells, together with the seminal fluid, can enter into the urethra by means of peristaltic contractions of all the smooth muscle in the glands and in the, the vas deferens. This can happen. But we also need to make sure that there isn't going to be any urine released into the urethra. So it's really important that the sphincters of the bladder uh, remain constricted. At the same time, we, we also are going to see um, some somatic influence, a sp somatic spinal reflex, meaning that skeletal muscles are involved, uh, particularly the skeletal muscles near the bulb of the penis are going to be stimulated to contract rapidly and that's what provides that orgasm feeling uh, during ejaculation and of course it's also going to help push out the semen from the urethra.